we wanted to make sure that when we launched it, it was going to work properly. Uh, and for us, it, it is it's about two things. One is, is continuing uh, you know, our journey on delivering the best network in Kenya. And, and actually, we're pretty proud with this one because this is the fastest network, we think, in sub-Saharan Africa today. Um, so, and we believe that delivering the best network for our customers is important. Um, that's why they entrust their business to us. And that's what we promise to them, and that's what we're delivering. Do you connect the, 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 the tower to the core of the network? And so we've done 1,600 kilometers, and we're going to do another 1,500 over the course of the next year or so. And that is important in order to maintain that speed, right? So that was the first part. The second part is, you know, we've all, always said that democratizing data was important. So it's not so much about us, it's about how do we deliver a faster experience for customers. So I give you the example of a doctor who might want to do telemedicine. In order for him to get a good experience, and in order for him to connect to somebody remotely, he needs to have fast connectivity. And that's what it's about. The profitability is pretty much in line with what we've always, uh, what we've always said. So guidance remains the same. This is a country where access to telephones was frighteningly low. And then we introduced mobile phones and we did that leapfrog. And I think here we are going to do that leapfrog by using LTE instead of having to put fiber into, into people's homes. This is our way of getting into the home and delivering a broadband experience without having to dig the roads up and, uh, and irritate people. It's always been in our long-term plan to have this stuff done and we've given the guidance. Uh, so the guidance is that our, our free cash will be at between 25 and 26 and a half billion at year end. Um, so no, no adverse impact beyond that. And who are the customers? Well, the customers are, are largely um, you know, of its, of its necessity, because remember I said that uh, 9,000 shillings for, uh, for mobile phones, not everybody can afford that. And so that in itself will start to define some of the customers. But of course we want to get into, um, into homes, so that if you're getting access to 100 Mbps in a home, it means that you can now get a behavior which is a little bit like a broadband uh, you know, a, a fixed broadband experience. Of course, for small and medium-sized enterprises, it is going to be important if you're a doctor and you want to do telemedicine, for example, then, you know, you need LTE. Schools, hospitals. I, I mean, it's an important point to remember that we did commit uh, just over a year ago that we will provide free Wi-Fi access for schools. We spent about 14 billion shillings just in the acquisition of Spectrum in the past few months. The first part was um, uh, SR, Telecom, where we bought both the Spectrum and the, uh, uh, and the towers. And the second part, of course, was the, uh, the deal, part of the deal that we've done with government for the security contract, where we spent $75 million. I mean, let me just stick with dollars for a moment. So $75 million we paid to the Communication Authority for the uh, 800 megahertz spectrum and 82 million dollars we've paid uh, for the SR assets in the past couple of months. A couple of months actually means less than a couple of months in, in fact because we have just concluded the SR transaction in the past week or so and we have just concluded the security contract in the past week or so. So the, the money actually has been spent um, you know in the fairly recent past. Well, I mean, the first thing to say is that 100,000 units is quite a lot. Um, if you compare many other markets, uh, before, they were, before they launched LTE, to have 100,000 devices is a lot. Uh, and we've been working very close with a number of vendors, you know, Alcatel, with Huawei, uh, indeed with Apple, to make sure that we can get availability. So we're pretty confident that we'll get uh, a sub-9,000 shilling, which is an entry-level um, entry phone, a sub-9,000 shilling phone, out by the end of, uh, end of February. Look, I think cost of data over time will go down, inevitably. Uh, the more people you've got on the network, the more we've laid out our network. But don't forget what I just said, which is that we've just spent $75 million on 800 megahertz. And we've just spent $82 million on the SR uh, spectrum. That is not to count the hardware and the rest of the software. So there's still quite a lot of investment that, um, that the whole industry, I mean, not just us, that the whole industry are putting. But of course, we're, we're kind of leading the market because I don't think anyone is spending as much as we are right now. Today, we are on a number of sites. We are here in Runda, uh, Gagiri, uh, Kibete, um, Parklands, Westlands, Buruburu. We're also in Mombasa, so we're on the island. Um, by the time we get to March, we expect to have rolled out about 250 LTE sites, which, to put that in perspective, it's kind of like half the size of the smallest network in the country 
today. Uh, so that's quite a significant investment. Then beyond March, we want to roll out to uh, another 13 counties over the following um, eight or nine months. And then the following 36 months, over a period of 36 months, we will have covered all 47 counties.